Get ready to guess who Maximilian was, where to find a witchin, and when whipping was outlawed in Canada. If you can guess, you'll win on Guess What? And now, here he is, the star of our show, Robin Ward. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, and welcome to our show. I know, standing backstage, Nick, I was just struck by the fact, no matter how many times we do this show, it's always like opening night. I get that same restless kind of excitement ever. I hear that music coming up and kind of the, the murmuring of the crew as they prepare the next kind of shot. And, do you know what I mean? It's I just, do. It's always opening night on Broadway on yeah. our show, isn't it, Nick? It Did sure you say is. That? Uh -huh. Sound of taxis, the whole thing. I can tell by your voice that you're also quite excited. Yes, I am. Okay, Nick, let's meet the teams, please. All right, Robin. Our champions of family that have won two games meet the Hunts. Hi, right, John. Welcome back. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Well, my name's Sean Hunt, and I'm a grade 13 student at West Hill CI. And this is my mother, Blanche, and my brother, James. Good luck on the show today. It's nice to have you back. And Blanche, welcome back. Hello, Robin. It's nice to be back. Mm -hmm. We really enjoyed it so far. And we're yeah, you're doing right well. Through. You're playing great as a team, and uh, you had a tremendous point spread in the last game you played. Uh, Almost 600 points, which We're is a lot of points. going for 800 this time. Yeah, you're quite competitive, aren't you? Well, I wish you luck in your quest for 800 points. You don't get extra money for that or prizes. No. It's just, you get a little plaque in you my go. office. You know, <laughs> which is a broom closet just past the studio there. James, welcome <laughs> welcome back. Hi, I'm a student at the University of Toronto. Uh -huh. I'm uh, majoring in English. Mm -hmm. What year are you in now? Well, this is my last year. I see. Uh, is this a three or four year course? Four year. Four, it's an honors course then. You're gonna do yes. postgraduate uh, Yeah, studies? I hope so, I hope so. Great, well I wish you the very best and right now I'm sure you'd like to see who you're facing and Nick, let's meet the challengers, please. Okay, Robin, here's a sister team that over the years have become very wary of pilots, lions, and game show hosts. Meet the K's. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> nice going. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask Nick what that means, but it'll, it'll unfold. Noreen, welcome to Guess What? It's nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Um, my name's Noreen Horowitz, mm -hmm. and I'm a Tiny Tots playgroup leader. I don't know if you know... No, what is that? It's a Tiny Tots sort of a nursery school? Or it's that, that idea. Uh -huh. It's recreation where the children um, learn singing and we play games with them and I see. Um, fits well right I'm in. sure you're wonderful at it because you're a very sympathetic sort of person and also you have two sons of your own sitting out in our audience yes. as well as your husband who's sitting in the back row there <laughs> yes. uh, nice to have you on our, at our show to see your mother uh, maybe go on to victory oh. and uh, this is your sister uh, Rosalind hi Rosalind hi. how are you nice to meet you nice my to name, meet you too my name is Rosalind Kay and I'm a designer mm -hmm. I design jewelry we're all in wow. uh, the jewelry. My sister Laura and I are partners in a business called Beauty and the Bead. Wow. And uh, when we get very busy, we use the whole family, and we also use handicapped people Great. to help with our uh, beading. Well, your jewelry is sensational. It Thank looks very you. attractive. And of I'll course, make you a pair of earrings. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rosalind. Really and nice. this is my sister Laura. Can you see me blushing through my pancake? <laughs> <laughs> Laura, welcome to Guess It's nice to have you here. Thank you. My name is Laura, and as you know, I'm partners with my sister Rosalind, mm -hmm. Jewelry. And um, thank you. And you're all gorgeous. And uh, I'm overwhelmed, Nick. I think we should play <laughs> our game before I get into more trouble here. So if you're ready, let's look at our board and play. Okay, straight to our first question. It's worth 60 points as ever. Now, the widgeon is a duck found in North America and in Europe. Hunters are able to locate the bird by imitating its distinctive call. Which one of the following groups of words sounds most like the call of the world-famous widgeon? Cheep, cheep. Boop, boop. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Caw, caw, caw. Doo doo, doo doo. Key, key, key. Welcome to the birds. I do this for a living. Can you believe it? Which of these sounds most like the widgeon? And for 60 points, we start with our uh, champions and Sean. Uh, will, will, will. That is correct for 60 points. <laughs> now, are you a bird, a bird watcher? You, uh, you just said that was a guess? You've, sure, yes. you've happened to have, you've encountered the widgeon in your, your travels? Oh, yeah, sometime? I see them all the time. Widgeons are, uh, are everywhere, aren't they? Will, will, will. I never heard that sound in my life. Sounds like Nick Hollenrake warming up, doesn't it? Okay, straight to the second question. Again, it's worth 60 points. Here is the question. Maximilian was a famous emperor who ruled from 1864 to 1867. Which one of the following countries did Maximilian rule? Mexico, the Bahamas, Haiti, Chile, Sri Lanka, 
or the Philippines? And for 60 points, we start with our challengers and Noreen. Haiti. That is incorrect. Down to 50 points. Over to Blanche. Mexico. That is correct. 50 points. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's a tricky question, I must admit, because Maximilian was at one time the Archduke of Austria, and he was made Emperor of Mexico by, uh, by Emperor Napoleon III of France, uh, who wanted to take control of Mexico. So, uh, tough question. Good answer on that. Straight to a team effort. Raise those little flaps, if you would, please. And it's a visual question as well. We'd like you to take a look at this monitor here, which is skipping. No, there's the monitor over there. Can you see that monitor over there? Now, who could forget that fabulous motion picture, The Reptile? It was released in 1968. What was the name of the character in the photograph taken from that film? Was it A, Snake Woman, B, Turtle Face, C, Lizard Man, or D, Chip Douglas? You have five seconds to uh, contemplate that. <laughs> And time is up, and Sean, what is your answer? Uh, C, Lizard Man. You think it's Lizard Man, and Blanche? B, Turtle Face. You think it's Turtle Face, and James? A, Snake Woman. <laughs> I love this. See, we're basically an intellectual show, James. You probably noticed that. Okay, let's go to the K family. Noreen, what do you think? I say B, Turtle Face. You think Turtle Face, and Rosalind? C, Lizard Man. And Laura? C, Lizard Man. All right, let's find out right now the name of this charmer here. The answer is A, Snake Woman. In fact, only one person knew it was Snake Woman, that was James. He put 20 points on the board. Yeah, the unforgettable character of Snake Woman was played by a, a character named uh, Jacqueline Pierce. Why she didn't receive an Oscar for that, I, I don't know. I can't, she was wonderful. Very sensitive performance. Okay, uh, 20 points on the board uh, from James, the only person who knew it was, uh, in fact, Snake Woman. Uh, at the end of our, I think this is the second round, isn't it? Is it the uh, champions, it's the first round. Right. Host goes into vapor lock. Okay, 130 points for our champions. Uh, at the moment, our challengers have yet to put a point on the board, but they will do better in the next round, which is coming up right after this. Stay with us. Puppy, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, our champions, the Hunts, uh, are on game three. If they win seven games, they will win our grand prize. And Nick's going to tell you what that prize is. It's a trip to Greece from Olympic Airways and Apirotiki Cruises. Three will fly out of Toronto to cruise to the beautiful islands of Greece. Compliments of Olympic Airways and Apirotiki Cruises. A trip worth $10,000. Thank you. Okay, straight into round two, and uh, I won't recap the scores right now, except the case after a little catching up in this round, the first question of which is worth 60 points. Now, as you probably know, the world's most popular soft drink is Coca-Cola. It is sold in more than 155 countries. How long would it take for the Coca-Cola company to sell 301 million drinks of Coke? One hour, one month, one year, one week, one second, or one day? How long would it take the Coca-Cola company to sell 301 million drinks of Coke? And for 60 points, we start with Rosalind. One day. That is correct for 60 points. Good for you. Good stuff. Okay, off to a good beginning in this round for our challengers. Let's go straight to the second question. Again, it's worth 60 points. A whipping post is a post to which persons are tied when being whipped as a form of punishment, obviously. Now, British law allowed whipping until 1948. I didn't know that. In what year did Canada abolish the whipping penalty for certain crimes? Is it 1936, 1902, 1940, 1966, 1958, or 1972? And for 60 points, we start with our champs and James. 1958. That is incorrect, James. Down to 50 points. Over to Laura. 1902. Nope. Down to 40 points. Over to Sean. Uh, 1936. Nope. We're down to 30 points now. And over to Noreen. 1940. Nope. Down to 20 points. Last chance to make a point. Blanche, it's up to you. 1966. That is incorrect. It's a tough question. It was uh, the whipping law was not abolished in Canada till 1972, which is amazing. I didn't know. That was true. I thought it would have been abolished, as, as did you all think it would be abolished earlier. Whipping is still a legal punishment in, in many countries in the world, including Singapore, uh, South Africa, of course, Iran, Pakistan, and Saudi Arabia. But uh, the so-called civilized world has uh, obviously dropped that form of punishment. But 1972, I didn't know that. Okay, let's go straight to an audio question. Maybe you have better luck on this one. It's worth 60 points. We'd like you to listen, please, to the great Wayne Newton singing his big one.
our crew, I noticed, loves Wayne Newton. I could, I could tell their enthusiasm. That, of course, was the great Wayne Newton, straight out of Vegas, singing Daddy, Don't You Walk So Fast. Now, which one of the following recording artists is accredited with having given Wayne Newton his first recording contract? Was it Elvis Presley, Bobby Darin, Trini Lopez, Dwayne Eddy, Dale Hawkins, or Dean Martin gave Wayne Newton his first big break and unleashed Wayne on an unsuspecting planet. And for 60 points, we start with Rosalind. Bobby Darin. That is correct for 60 points. Good for you. Good stuff. Yeah, in 1962, Bobby Darren caught the first act of Wayne Newton at a dinner held in honor of Jackie Gleason in Phoenix, Arizona. And afterwards, uh, Bobby Darren signed Wayne Newton to a big contract. His first big hit, Wayne's that is, was uh, Heart in 1963. And of course, he's made millions in Las Vegas and lives lavishly and has, seems to have a wonderful time. So good answer on that. You've closed the gap nicely, Rosalind. Now only 10 points separating the two teams. As we come to a team effort question, raise them little flaps, please. Keep your answers confidential. Take a look over here, please, at the monitor. Now, the statues in this photograph are life-size and were sculpted out of clay. They were discovered in 1974 by a team of archaeologists working at the tomb of Shi Huang Ti, who was ruler of China from 221 to 210 BC. In all, roughly how many of these life-size statues were discovered? A, 200, B, 900, C, 6,000, or D, 1,500? And you have five seconds. And time is up. Sean, what is your answer? Uh, D, 1,500. Okay, and Blanche, what do you think? D, 1,500. And James, you're gonna make it unanimous? C, 6,000. Okay, let's see how the K's voted. Noreen? You think 900, and Rosalind? A, 200. And Laura? B, 900. Let's find out right now how many uh, life-size statues were discovered in this particular tomb. The answer is C, 6,000, in fact. Very good. Yeah, and, and one of the statues, for some unaccountable reason, was of Wayne Newton, which is not a, a well-known <laughs> fact. They're not sure why to this day. Okay, there was uh, one <laughs> correct answer on either team, and that was James, once again, who puts 20 points on the board. At the end of this round, our champions, the Hunts, have 150 points. Our challengers are hot on their heels with 120 points. An exciting game. Round three coming up after this. Whoopee. Thank you. Whoopee. Thank you so much. I was just over there chatting with the, the K sisters and ran back to my place here. Okay, if you at home would like to join us on, uh, guess what? We have some good time down here. Just uh, drop us a line. Here's Nick with the address. All right, Robin, if you plan to be in Toronto and would like to be a part of Guess What? In the audience or as a player, please write Guess What? Box 9, Station O, Toronto, Ontario, M4A2M9. Thank you. And some members of our studio audience might win prizes. Here's Nick to tell you what some of those prizes might be. Some members of our studio audience may receive prizes furnished from Added Touch Cake Mix. There's lots of moist, delicious flavors to choose from, but only one kind of quality. The best. Added Touch, your best value. And our consolation winners will receive a selection of Weston appliances featuring the electric meat grill, griddle with oven. You'll be able to cook and warm an entire meal with this convenient kitchen helper. Enjoy your new gifts from Weston. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Uh, the final round is here, a very close game. Uh, the Hunts, our champions, have 150 points, and the Ks are putting up a terrific fight. They're close behind them with 120 points. Here is our final round. The first question, again, worth 60 points. In the 1960s television series, The Patty Duke Show, two identical cousins, Patty and Kathy Lane, lived together under the roof of Patty's parents' house. What was the name of their housekeeper? This is pretty obscure. Was their housekeeper's name Mrs. McDonald? Uncle Charlie, Mrs. Trumbull, Mr. French, Mrs. Livingston, or Hazel Burke? And 60 points, we start with James. Mrs. Trumbull. That is incorrect. You were obviously studying at the time, James. Down to 50 points, over to Laura. Mrs. Livingston. That is also incorrect. Down to 40 points, over to Sean. Mr. French. Mr. French was a family affair. That is incorrect. Down to 30 points, over to Noreen. Hazel Burke. Hazel Burke was Hazel of the Hazel TV series, so that is incorrect, down to 20 points. Last chance to make a point, Blanche, it's all up to you. Mrs. McDonald. That is correct, for 20 points. <laughs> now that part was played by Margaret Hamilton, who played the Wicked Witch of the North in The Wizard of Oz, you may remember, who passed away not too long ago, a wonderful character actress. Uh, so good answer on that. You salvaged a few points out of that and increased your lead. Uh, 50 points now separate the two teams, not much. You would go to the next question, again, worth 60 points. Here it is. 
Now, Nova Scotia, as you know, is one of four Atlantic provinces. It was first settled in 1629. From which one of the following countries did these early settlers come from? Ireland, France, Scotland, the Netherlands, Belgium, or Norway? And uh, for 60 points, we start with Rosalind. Um, Ireland. That is incorrect. Down to 50 points. Over to James. No, over to James. Yes. Scotland. That is correct. 50 points. <laughs> the word Nova Scotia in Latin means New Scotland, so that's a good answer on that. And uh, let's go to the next question. Again, it's worth 60 points. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry recognizes 103 chemical elements. Which one of the following is the chemical symbol for potassium? Is it CA? R A, P B, P, Z R, or K. The chemical symbol for potassium. 60 points, we start with Laura. Um, K. That is correct for 60 points. Good for you. Very good. OK, good answer on that, Laura. You needed those points. A pretty close game, only 40 points separating the two teams as we come into our last question. It's a team effort, little flaps up, please. And of course, as you know by now, the point value is triple in this question, so you could put 300 points on the board. This will obviously decide the game here. And uh, here is the question. The fountain of, uh, at, uh, I'll try and pronounce this, Aganippes, A-G-A-N-I-P-P-E, Aganippi, I believe is how you pronounce it, was an ancient fountain near Mount Helicon in Boeotia. According to legend, people who drank the water would do something special. What was it they would do if they drank the water of the fountain of Aganippi? Would they A, live forever, B, get lucky, C, <laughs> write poetry. Where is this fountain? Oh, uh, or <laughs> D, crave sushi. And uh, for 60 points, we start, who do we start with? Where are we going here? There's chaos. Okay, we start with Sean. Oh. Oh, I gotta get control here. Okay, uh, what do you think would happen if you drink the water of the fountain of Aganippi, Sean? Uh, a live forever. You think A live forever, Blanche? A live forever. And James, what do you think? C, write poetry. Okay, let's see how the K's voted. Noreen? A, live forever. And Rosalind? A, live forever. And Laura? A, live forever. Unanimous on the K side, let's find out right now what you would happen to you if you drank this water. The answer is... C, you would write poetry, believe it or not. Therefore, our continuing champions are the Hunts with 300 with... How many points? I don't know. Thanks to James once again. Congratulations. Yes, uh, the fountain of Aganippi was sacred to the muses in Greek mythology. Those who drank from the fountain were inspired to write poetry, according to popular legend. So, excellent answer, James, and uh, you're our champions. C continue to be our champions. Let's find out what you've won for your efforts today. Nick, please. It's a whirlpool from Uran, the whirlpool machine that's great for relaxation and relief of muscular pains. Completely portable and easy to install. You'll enjoy the whirlpool machine from Uran. And from Corning, enjoy the modern look of Vision's Cookware, a versatile cookware set that enables you to range top or microwave. Corning promises to replace any item with a 10-year guarantee. Vision's from Corning. And to our challengers, uh, the K's, you've got me all in a stit up here. I've just been so distracted by you, I haven't been able to retain control of my game here. So uh, you've done a wonderful job on me, anyway. And uh, what's the name of your company, once again, that makes it your... What is it? Beauty, Beauty and, the, and bead. the Bead. I wish you continued success with your wonderful jewelry, and uh, it's been a great pleasure having you on Guess What. Thanks for being with us. And to our champions, this is game three of one. We'll be playing for cash and a bonus prize coming up after these words. Stay with us. Okay, thank you very much. We're about to get into our bonus round. Before we do that, let's find out what our bonus prize is today, Nick. Today's bonus prize is the Spacemaker Microwave Oven from General Electric. By pre-programming, you'll be able to cook and defrost your food evenly and quickly. The Spacemaker Microwave Oven from General Electric. Thank you very much. Straight into our bonus round. Here's the first question. It's worth $50, as you know by now, and uh, the right to go on for that big bonus prize. Punch Imlac earned the nickname Punch while playing with the Toronto Goodyears when he was knocked down and out in a game and began to swing punches at his team's trainer. 
What is Punch Imlac's real first name? Is it Paul? Is it George? Rick? Or Bill? Punch Imlac's real first name. And $50, we start with Sean. Uh, Paul? That is incorrect. Uh, over to Blanche. George. That is correct, $50. <laughs> okay, let's go straight to the second question. Again, it's worth $50. Here is the question. According to Greek legend, Medusa uh, had staring eyes, protruding fa fangs, and writhing snakes for hair. Sounds like a date I once had. Now, in her youth, <laughs> in her youth she had been beautiful, but her conceit made one of the gods so angry that she changed Medusa into an ugly person. Which one of the following gods cast this spell on Medusa? Was it uh, Hygieia, Hera, Iris, Persephone, or Athena. And for $50, we start with Blanche. Persephone? That is incorrect. And we're over to James. Athena? That is correct for $50. Congratulations. <laughs> OK. You've reached our final plateau. And uh, this time, it'll be a little tougher. There'll be six answers up here. And this question is for the bonus prize. Here's the question. John North Willies was a famous American manufacturer. In 1907, he organized the Willies Overland Company. What did John North Willies manufacture? Furniture, automobiles, explosives, dairy products, gasoline, or paper products? And for the bonus prize, we start with James. Automobiles. That is correct for the bonus prize. Congratulations. Congratulations to a terrific team. You just went through it today and you've won everything, uh, including the bonus prize today. You've won two out of three bonus prizes. You're our continuing champions with game three. Of course, you get to come back another day and try uh, maybe head for that grand prize. We haven't had one of those winners for a very long time, so you're playing superbly. And I congratulate you and thank you for, for joining us here today. And right now, I'd like to say to you in our studio, thank you for being with us and hope you can come back again and see us uh, real soon. To you at home, see you all, God willing, the same time next time on Guess What? Bye-bye. Thanks for being with us. Promotional consideration from Elja Marine, products that are made from a mixture of organic extracts to cleanse and moisturize skin while leaving a fresh scent in all products. All from Elja Marine. And Mighty Drop. Now you can eliminate unpleasant odors in seconds. Mighty Drop, the quick, easy way to deodorize and freshen your home in dropper concentrated spray. Mighty Drop. And Happy Nails, non-smear Happy Nails instantly removes nail polish while it conditions nails and cuticles with protein, lanolin, and glycerin. Happy Nails. Glenn Warren Production.